Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to the Lighthouse in Aston here and to the Idea Exchange event. Um, I, I'm so excited about today's event. I'm, I just believe with all of my heart that God's going to speak to us today as, a, as churches, as leaders, as those who have a heart and a passion for young people. The Holy Spirit is the recommendation of Jesus Christ himself. Jesus Christ himself said you receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. Come on, would you just put yourself in an environment, open up your heart, your mind to say, God, would you fill me with the Holy Spirit? God honoring culture is not a pretense. I'm going to talk about young people that are hurting. And if we are not 100% in an atmosphere of change, they will go in the church and out the church. I understand there's a lot happening in churches because I'm a part of church that is vibrant and there's a lot of young people, but equally young people come in, young people are going. It hurts when a young person's come in, connected in with the program, built relationship, but hasn't got the revelation and then they end up moving on. I don't know about you, but does that break your heart? Hi there, my name's Debbie Huxton and I'm at the Ideas Exchange and I came here today um, hoping to learn more about how I can help the youth in our local area and wow, it's blown my mind. What an incredible day. Uh, some incredible speakers and the message I'm going to take away from today is it's about having one heart and one mind to help our youth rise and take control. My name is Daniel, um, I was at the Idea Exchange today and it was really good. I was really inspired and um, empowered and it's, it's changed my, my, perspective, my perspective on a lot of things, um, how to engage with young people better and, and like it's changed my understanding of young people as well and how to approach them differently. I think it's really good, it's a really, really good place to come. Today's idea exchange was such a wonderful you know, moment of learning, exchanging ideas with other youth leaders in the city of Birmingham. I have learned so much from the speakers and from other conference attendees, you know, how to uh, create a God honoring culture that will attract and engage young people. Hi, I'm Gail Richards. I've been at Idea Exchange today. Um, had a great time listening to, to three good speakers, great opportunity to have conversation with different people about where they're at with um, working with young people and how we create cultures within our church so that can really engage young people. Um, all I can say is if you weren't here, you missed out, make sure you come to the next one. We learn from each other. Uh, a particular um, fascinating part of the conversation was about the different generations. And my view is that we really do need to be seeing each generation as a, as a resource. So intergenerational learning came out loud and clear. So many exciting things. I'm going to have to go away and reflect further. But just in that short snippet, you've got a taste of the idea of exchange and all the fascinating and enriching aspects of, of the dialogue that took place today. It was edifying. It was really eye-opening to have a different mindset of a lot of different point of views and perspective of how people have grew their church and how they've established a transitioning mindset for their youth. and. Having the have, having the hunger within the youth, which is really, really, it's it's um, it's, a, it's a real, real um, inspirational. It's inspirational, really, to see how how people from different backgrounds can all come together, regardless of of their upbringings, their class. Just really come together and and just unify them all within Christ and just continue to pursue pursue God really and I, I cannot wait for the next one to happen I'm really looking forward to it and yeah hopefully it's soon